Welcome stormwater designers. Thank you for watching this video. Today we're going to take the first look at the new software package, WimSwim. Now, if you use the beta version of this software package, you're probably going to notice it looks a little bit different. And that is because it's been a long time in the making. All these graphics changes to WimSwim are going to be for the better. Now, we added an overall sleek, new, and modern look to the software to make it easy to use and to make designing anything in WimSwim very, very easy. Now, if you're from the WWHM 2012 or WWHM4 world, you're probably noticing that a lot of the elements are the same, but there are many changes to WimSwim. It's because it combines the power of HSPF and swim engines to accomplish not only hydrology, but also hydraulics in one cohesive software package. So we're very excited to announce this new software package, and you'll probably notice that some of the graphics and some of the logos are looking a bit different. So let's just dive in, and let's take a look at this new software package. You'll probably notice the WimSwim logo on the top left and the bottom part here in my screen is new. It should be easy to find on your desktop and easy to identify. Now, you'll probably notice many of the toolbars, many of the graphics and images have been swapped out. It has all the same functions as the WimSwim Beta and WWHM 2012. It just looks newer. The interface is new and sleek. It should be easy to find anything you're looking for in the software and easy to use. So that is all the changes to the toolbar. What we're very excited to present is the changes to the Scenario tab. So if we go to Scenario, we go pre-developed. As you can see, we have all new graphics for all the elements. They function just as they did in WWHM 2012 or the WimSwim Beta, but they look completely new. Let's click on a basin. We can click on a natural channel or gravel trench bed. And because these graphics are of high quality, if we go to Options and we zoom in and we up the element size, look at that. They still look amazing. We put a lot of detail in making sure the resolution of these new images was high quality. As you can see, they are. I like to have mine at around 30 pixels, just so I can fit the most elements as possible. We have changed the look and the buttons of all the menus to give it that new, fresh look. As you can see, many of the menus and functions, they will still remain the same. They just have a new look to make sure it's easy to find whatever you're looking for in the software package. We also have never seen before updated swim elements featuring junction, outfall, divider, and so on. You can import these into your project and then they'll be drawn by the software for ease of use where they can be modified. So that is the first look at the new WimSwim. Just sort of looking, you know, from a bird's eye view, the graphics have been changed, the interface has been changed, and it looks great and it works great. So we're very excited to present this version of the software. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna be looking at some of the functions of WimSwim and all the amazing things it can do for your stormwater designs. But before you go, we have something, we have a free gift for you. It is a project template pack that works in WimSwim, WWHM 2012, or any of those products. They're easy to use, buildable templates. You drag them into your project and they're ready to go so you can start designing as quickly as possible. So go to the description box, give us an email, and we'll send you that free project template pack to get you started. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.